Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Uh, this layout is going to be a little faster than normal just because um, if I if I had it to where I normally have it, the video is too long and it won't post. <laughs> so I kind of struggled with that. Uh, so I had to speed it up and um, it's going to be a little faster, but it's okay. So I'm doing this layout um, of my husband's trip to England and Georgia. And I am going to post... Um, I'm going to mount the pictures on that red cardstock so that they pop off the page, otherwise they would get lost. And I don't want my handsome husband getting lost anywhere on the page. So um, I'm going to mount that on the red cardstock. And um, I know that I'm going to make the title, um, I'm going to use the title, uh, The Journey there is going to be my title. And um, I'm just really, I'm pulling off anything off that, off that chipboard sheet that I think I'm going to use. And um, I end up using everything I pull, so <laughs> that's good. And uh, that, that right there is a glassine bag that some of the embellishments in the kit came in. So I just emptied it out and um, I'm trimming off a little bit of it. And that is going to hold all those tickets that he saved for me. So I wanted the tickets on the layout, but I didn't want them to take up a ton of the background because I really want that background to shine. Background to shine. So uh, I'm going to use some paper clips to hold the tickets in so they don't go flying out as people look through my album. And I liked the red airplane, however, it was, uh, I didn't want to overkill the airplane theme on the layout here, so I like the black arrow a little bit better. So I'm going to line up my title along the side here, which I don't normally do, but um, it's bold enough that I, it, it, can, it can sit there without a problem. I normally do it, um, you know, sideways. So I'm kind of placing things where I think I want them to go. And um, quite a few of these things I actually, those are from Freckled Fawn. They're little wood veneer cameras. And uh, I think I, I took a few things out. That stamp is from Freckled Fawn as well. And it says field observations on it. And when I was trying to see where I wanted to do my journaling, for some reason I just automatically went to that bag. <laughs> and um, I, I'm going to try stamping on it, which kind of scared the heck out of me because I've never stamped on a glassine bag before, so I wasn't sure how the bag would take the ink or anything. But uh, I'm going to try it. <laughs> so I use my stays on and I get it stamped on there and I'm rubbing it to make sure I get everything off. And it didn't turn out very great. So um, my options were I could either turn the bag over and try again or just re-ink and try to stamp again. And I ended up taking the tickets out because that was probably part of the problem. Um, it didn't press down evenly. So I re-inked and I am going to take the cap of my Sharpie and really rub it in to make sure I get every bit of ink that I can off of it. And it turned out much better. And uh, I don't use baby wipes to clean my stamps when I'm using stays on because it doesn't work anyway. So um, I'm actually in the market for a new stamp pad that will not stain your stamps, but will still look really good. So if anyone has suggestions for a good ink pad that will not stain your stamps but will come out with a really good crisp image, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm going to try to go shopping here next week and maybe try to pick something else up. So I did my journaling. And uh, you'll see those in the see that in the close-ups. It's it's mainly just filling in what it says, like the date and where he was and all that stuff. So I really I really like the way that turned out because even though I stamped over the tickets, you can still see the tickets through it since uh, it was not a solid stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything mounted. and um, get everything stuck down. And with this title, um, it didn't stand out very much just because the, um, the what, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the letters are, uh, cut out of a map 
pattern. There we go, pattern, that's what I'm trying to say. Pattern, so I'm putting a map pattern on a map paper. So it looks good right now, I think, because of the way my light is shining on it, but when I was looking at it and doing it, it didn't stand out very well. So um, I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to outline it very carefully in black. And that also helps tie in the black with the stamping and um, the black paper clip and everything. But it also adds a very subtle attention to the title without it, you know, jumping out and screaming in your face, here's my title. But it's very subtle and um, it looks a lot better. So you can actually see, you can see the letters a lot better that way. Now I'm just referencing, I had snapped a picture to see where I had everything placed before. So I'm just making sure I put things back where I had them to begin with. So I'm gonna start sticking a few things down. I like how that Adventure Awaits banner sits right there. That paper clip is a teal geotag from Freckled Fawn and that helps bring in teal from that arrow sticker right there. And also the uh, the Westminster Abbey ticket has some teal in it. So um, have three little pops of teal there. And I don't really like um, that cluster right there with the camera because it just looks like I put things in a row and that's it. And I, I wanted it to, you know, I want to put more a little bit more thought into that. <laughs> So these arrows are from Freckled Fawn, and um, that's all I have left. I had two packs, and then a good friend of mine gave me one of her packs, and um, and now that's all I have left. I went through those suckers. <laughs> but I love them. They're really cute. So I'm going through these little... Um, they're not vellum. They're transparent shapes, I guess. Um, they're black, but you can still see through them. And I picked some clouds because... Um, you can tell in the England pictures, it was very, very cloudy that day. And I think my husband had said it even rained, uh, when they had gone into town that day. So it was appropriate. And I really want to make sure I can use those clouds because there are a ton of them, um, in that package. And I like that they're there and, um, they tie in to the layout, but they don't really cover up the background either because you can even still see the map through the clouds. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna get all this stuff stuck down and I put that um, that wood veneer camera down into that kind of awkward square that I was struggling with and I like the way that looks a lot better. So I'm gonna get that down. And this is how the layout turns out. And I'm really happy with it. <laughs> so next time you have a glassine bag, Hold on to it just in case you want to put some stuff inside of it because I'm really happy I kept it so that it worked out that way. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it didn't go too fast for you. <laughs> and here come some close-ups for you. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you soon. Bye.